As you gaze into the vastness of space, you may find yourself captivated by the twinkling of billions of stars. Each star seems to pose a silent question that has lingered in the minds of humanity for generations. Are we alone in the cosmos? This profound question has sparked the curiosity and imagination of scientists, philosophers, and thinkers alike for centuries. The quest to understand our place in the universe is as old as civilization itself, and it continues to inspire countless individuals to look up at the night sky with wonder. Recently, a groundbreaking instrument has been launched into orbit to help answer this question, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This remarkable piece of technology acts as a powerful magnifying glass, providing unprecedented clarity in revealing the intricate details of distant planets and celestial bodies. The JWST is not just another telescope. It represents a leap forward in our ability to explore the universe. With its advanced capabilities, it can observe the universe in ways that were previously unimaginable. One of the most exciting discoveries made by the JWST is its investigation of an enigmatic exoplanet known as K2-18b. Initial observations of this planet sparked waves of excitement within the scientific community, and with good reason. K2-18b is no ordinary planet. It possesses some truly fascinating characteristics that make it an intriguing subject of study. The discovery that K2-18b contains water vapor has profound implications for its potential to harbor life. Water is considered a fundamental requirement for life as we know it, and its presence in the atmosphere of K2-18b has caused scientists to wonder if this distant planet could be habitable. But that's not all. The planet also contains a molecule that has sparked deep intrigue among researchers. This molecule, often associated with biological processes on Earth, raises the possibility that K2-18b could support life. Could this be the momentous revelation humanity has been waiting for? Could we have discovered evidence of extraterrestrial life? In this exploration, we will dive deeper into the details of K2-18b, examining the scientific challenges and far-reaching implications of this discovery. Join us as we investigate the first tangible images of K2-18b and the potential it holds for reshaping our understanding of the universe. Located 120 light-years away, K2-18b is classified as a super-Earth in its solar system. It stands out due to its classification as a sub-Neptune. This means the planet is larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. The sub-Neptune classification does not have any direct counterparts in our own solar system, making K2-18 be an intriguing subject for scientists to study. The unique characteristics of K2-18b present a considerable challenge for scientists trying to unravel its mysteries. While rocky planets like Earth and Mars serve as benchmark planets for building hypotheses, and gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn offer tentative comparisons for understanding distant worlds, the sub-Neptunes like K2-18b have no direct analogues, making them an enigma that requires further investigation. The available data so far suggests some fascinating theories. For instance, K2-18b orbits in the habitable zone of its host star, a red dwarf known as K2-18. This positioning raises the possibility that the planet's surface might harbor liquid water, similar to Earth's oceans. However, it is important to note that K2-18b orbits its star much closer than Earth orbits the Sun. While Earth is about one astronomical unit, AU, from the Sun, K2-18b is only 0.18 astronomical units from its star, which is closer than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. This means that a year on K2-18b lasts only 13 Earth days. Fortunately, K2-18b's host star, K2-18, is a red dwarf that emits less heat than our Sun. This is crucial because it means that despite the planet's proximity to its star, its surface isn't completely scorched. In fact, this lower luminosity could turn out to be a benefit, as it has allowed scientists to detect vaporized water in the planet's atmosphere. This discovery adds to the growing evidence that K2-18b might just have the conditions necessary to support life. The discovery of biological signatures on K2-18b further intensifies the excitement. Methane, a molecule that decomposes rapidly under solar radiation, was detected alongside carbon dioxide, a more common component of planetary atmospheres. However, the most remarkable finding came in the form of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule that is not commonly found in Earth's natural environment. DMS is produced exclusively through biological processes on Earth, particularly by microorganisms in the oceans. This is significant because, on Earth, DMS is a reliable biomarker for life. Its presence in the atmosphere of K2-18b suggests that there could be biological processes occurring on the planet. The fact that K2-18b is orbiting a red dwarf star, known for its intense radiation and generally considered inhospitable to life, 
only makes this discovery more intriguing. To further understand the planet, it's important to know that for K2-18b to support liquid water, it must reside within the habitable zone of its star, where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold. If it has a stable atmosphere, K2-18b could have temperatures comparable to Earth's. However, its atmosphere, primarily composed of hydrogen, might make its oceans slightly warmer given its proximity to the host star. K2-18b could also benefit from a dense atmosphere that traps heat, preventing surface water from evaporating. This feature is particularly significant because surface water is considered a potential distinguishing characteristic of exoplanets like K2-18b. Astrophysicist Niku Madhusudhan, known for his work on DMS in space, proposed a new category of exoplanets in a fascinating paper published in the Asterisk Journal of Astrophysics Star. He coined the term Hycian, hydrogen-rich exoplanets in the cloud, referring to sub-Neptunes like K2-18b that are cradled beneath thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres. According to Madhusudhan, these planets could be radically different from anything we've seen before. Hycian worlds could have masses up to 10 times that of Earth and radii twice as large. However, instead of being scorched infernos, they would feature a colossal layer of water, potentially making up as much as 90% of the planet's mass. These dense atmospheres could trap heat from the star, allowing liquid water to exist over a much broader range of distances from the star than on rocky planets like Earth. What makes Hycian planets like K2-18b particularly interesting is their potential for basic microbial life. If these planets exist, they will offer a vast ocean that could harbor the ingredients necessary for life. Their relative commonality in the universe makes them prime candidates for the search for life beyond Earth. Even with the advanced technology of the James Webb Space Telescope, detecting the oceanic features of K2-18b presents a significant challenge. In order to unlock the secrets of this distant world, a meticulously planned observation was required. Scientists needed to observe K2-18b during a transit, a celestial event in which a planet passes directly between its star and Earth. During the transit, the JWST captured the light passing through K2-18b's atmosphere. The beauty of this technique lies in the unique fingerprint that the starlight carries. By analyzing this fingerprint, scientists can determine the elemental composition of the planet's atmosphere. This allows them to identify the molecules present and gain insight into the planet's environment. The light is separated into its individual wavelengths, much like how a prism breaks down white light into a spectrum. If certain wavelengths are missing from the final spectrum, it provides important clues about the chemical composition of the distant world. This method is an invaluable tool for scientists, enabling them to form a complete picture of the planet's environment. The JWST's ability to analyze the atmosphere of K2-18b is a testament to the advancements in technology that allow us to explore the universe in greater detail than ever before. In conclusion, the discovery of K2-18b by the James Webb Space Telescope has opened up new possibilities in our search for life beyond Earth. The presence of water vapor, biological markers, and the planet's unique atmospheric conditions make it a fascinating candidate for future study. The potential for life on K2-18b challenges our understanding of the universe and pushes the boundaries of what we know about habitable environments. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the questions of existence and life beyond our planet remain at the forefront of scientific inquiry. Subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.